Greetings ladies and gentlemen and hello to a new Gwent deck view on my channel. I'm Furo and today it's time to look at another very disgusting deck right now that will probably get shafted a lot with the next balance patch which should come out in a few weeks. As you might have already guessed I'm of course talking about the Francesca Square Teal deck featuring Roach, Theory Dash and Johnny. When I first posted a Zero Dash deck a few weeks ago I received some comments who claimed that the card was not that great. Well, nowadays the Scoia Teal deck is infesting the leather on the highest ranks and you will likely see the class in every second game. A huge unbalancing is therefore currently visible. I really hope that this gets resolved in the near future. If you are unfamiliar with the interaction of the deck, here's just a super quick run over the deck before we are playing a few rounds with it to show you the power of our green faction. The deck is all about creating advantages in various forms. You are normally trying to start with Milfa which will return the strongest non-gold unit um, on each side to the owner's hand. Ties are resolved randomly. And the, when you play the Milfa, the Roach is getting spawned on the board and the Roach will then bounce back into your hand. And with the Johnny here, you can then push him back into your deck and also creating another card or a copy of another card into your hand. Just with that simple start, you have created a small but important advantage early on in the game. With stuff like the Siri Dash, this one here, and you make sure that the Roach is coming back on the board while stuff like the Muta gain from the Mad Room um, allows you to either buff your Roach for further later interactions or debuff one of your opponent's key units. With the potential to get Siri Dash two or three times per game, you will keep the Roach train going, creating a pure and simple power advantage each round. As you will not see in our little gameplay session, you will draw your whole deck in nearly every game, though the chance to have multiple uh, Cyrus is massive. That is not great design-wise in my opinion and will probably be addressed soon. For now, let's have some fun on the ladder, destroying a few opponents. We are starting our little session today against the Radovid, probably control one, but you will see about that. So for the start we have the Milfa here, Yev and Johnny, that's kind of nice. We have triple first light, definitely don't want to do that. Let's drop that, let's drop the first light here as well. Let's ignore the leader ability, or the faction ability rather. And we will then start with the Milfa. Giving him the knight back into the hand, we are getting the roach. Now. There's another knight, as expected. We will play the Johnny here. Good grief. Getting the roach back into the deck. And we are... Oh, we got the decoy. Interesting stuff. Bad idea. There's Priscilla. See what he's getting. It's a Tiburé. Getting the Johnny for two. So let's try our elf mercenary. Everything all right. As a Mutagen or Spores, we will... In this situation, we're using the spores here on the Priscilla. Definitely good. He's not able to get Priscilla back. Now that dragon is dangerous as hell. Mm, we could, we could, we could get the Johnny. No, that one's relentless, right? Now we can't use it on the journey. So let's try out another elf mercenary. Right. Rally effect. Blue Mountain Commander. Get another elf mercenary. Storm is coming. And so let's on and so the on. While we still can. There's a Vanguard, so we're spawning nine Your points on the board. You, Going a bit ahead here. Clearing that. So unfortunately the elf mercenary is gone, but I mean we still have a first light here so we could spawn another one. Uh, for now it might be nice to use the leader ability so we can redraw. Top one of the blue mountain commandos, we're getting the aromancy. Now right now we can also drop the decoy. As a right now I don't want that. And there's elf mercenary. 
He's getting the dragon back into his hand, which is definitely dangerous. Because if we now play the elf mercenary, he will just use the dragon. But we are still in the need of playing the elf mercenary right now. I'm going to do that. Let's That's a leather raid. While we still can. Not too great. We will spawn the aromancy on the last, so... Let's hit the Tribure here. Depends a bit on where we need to play the Aromancy. If he's spawning more in the melee row, we will play that there. Then it's definitely better to use the Lazarite here on the Tribure. Might also be other way around, so we don't know for sure. Currently it's 13 to 13. I was hoping you'd say that. Just great. Sure is Marigold. What are you killing? Oh, he's just hitting the mill for four. Okay, decent stuff. Let's take the first light here. Spawn some rally. We should find. No, we are not finding another elf mercy, Your unfortunately. Will not save you, Dwarf. But I mean, we are still ahead. The north, to marry. But he's only spawning gold cards, which is a problem. Then the aromancy is not very powerful. Uh, we could just... We could just pass here. If we go for the blue mountain commando, that would be 7 points. That is not good enough to go ahead right now. Uh, we could, for example, kill the knight here as well with the aromancy. That would be a nice move. Yeah, let's do that and we can draw another card. So we're spawning the frost. Only four points ahead. We'll use the Yevon here, drawing another card. Stand getting rid of the knight. Fight. Oh, we're spawning that there. Which is Marigold. I feel we'll take out two units, we're getting a decoy. Which is right now not very useful. Clearing this guy, getting the elf points on the board. So this will bring him back an advantage. So it might be time to use the decoy. We're getting the three headed Vanguard back into the hand. So we can play the Vanguard and the Blue Mountain Commander next turn. He currently only has two cards in hand. We will win this round. Just Marigold is now silver, so he might find a way to resurrect that. Second round is starting. Let's see how that one goes. King of Beggars. And we got the Theory Dash. So with the Theory Dash, we can definitely... Uh, the opponent is starting anyway, so we can ignore that. With the Theory Dash, we can also spawn the Roach. It should be pretty nice. Going to be five cards left in the deck. And with the King of Beggars, we are also spawning another unit. So that should be useful. Let's see, how many Blue Mountain Commanders do we have left? There's still one left in the deck and not a single Elf Mercenary. So right now we would spawn a Blue Mountain Commander. That means we need the Vanguard on the board, otherwise the Blue Mountain Commander is not useful. Mm, let's go for the Siri Dash here. Spawning the Roach, so 12 to 8 points. He still has his leader ability, so he can move 8 strength in any unit, using that on the Siri Dash. We will then use the Vree Hat here, spawning Commander on your feet. We can then use the King of Beggars or the Blue Mountain Commander. My studies are more important than this. So hit that. Uh, doesn't really matter if we. Um, yeah, it might be better to play the Blue Mountain Commander here Dance first. Maybe we don't need to play the King of Beggars and then we are at least getting 6 points. And uh, even 8 points, it's 8 points, sorry. So Blue Mountain Commander is 4 and the King of Beggars will be 4. So that's 8 with 4 cards to go. If we use him now this round, we have a higher chance Again. to get the Siri Dash back. Going for the Dragon, going for Triss Marigold. So that means he is currently 10 points ahead. 
if we go for the king of beggars we're getting four points and we can that is enough then then we can keep the eovith for the last round and also spawning the roach then who do i spy there's a blue mountain commander i'll feed you to the crowd gets at your back let's play that again yeah, so we win the round humans! with one point and in the last round we have one card advantage we're spawning at the roach so we have that will be 15 points difference here these two cards also he needs to start so he's definitely playing a unit if he has one should be relatively easy then for the last round we are especially with that the opponent needs to start and that should normally be it what do you want of me Field medic sergeant yeah that's it you with this definitely good enough don't need to play the glaze here at all Spally! Our second opponent is also using the Skoya Teal deck. So oh, that will be interesting. But he's using another leader, so not the same deck. We have a Roach here, definitely dropping that. Blue Mountain Commander, two Blue Mountain Commanders, one Elf Mercenary. We are dropping the Leather Raid here as well. There's Johnny. And let's drop the Mudroom as well. So we have double Elf Mercenary, we have double Blue Mountain Commander. We can go for the Milfer here for the first turn if we want, and then play the Johnny on the Roach. Alright, try that. There is a trap, so that could be... No, it's not killing the Roach, it's not a fireball trap then. Otherwise the fireball trap would have been activated. Oh, just a pass here. Interesting, so we will win the round. There is a Therion, he's getting that back. So that is one card advantage here. Oh no, it isn't because we got the Johnny in hand, right? So we have the same amount of cards. We need to start here for the second round. We will then go for the Johnny. Let's get the Roach back into the deck. We're getting another card. And that is the Marigold Hellstrom. Weather cards that will spawn frost and rain. So he is targeting the um, siege row and the melee row. Be interesting. There's a Syrian most likely again. Now let's go for an elf mercenary. Strength, oh, the fireball trap. Okay. So he tricked us. That could be the Syrian. Could also be another fireball trap. I need to be careful there. If that's another fireball trap, the Vanguard here is definitely better to be played. Death to it is. So that is five damage on the Vanguard, but it's still alive. Ooh, another one. Uh, that will be interesting. Do you have three fireball traps? It's definitely possible. So we might play another one here. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay, no activation this time. Oh, so many traps. Oh, it it is possible that we are facing Torvil here. And maybe another fireball trap. But he could have played that earlier, so not sure about that. We will try out with an elf mercenary. Have strength, my love. So it is not a fireball trap. Uh, probably let's increase the base strength here on the elf mercenary. Hawker support, whenever he's playing a special card. The Hawker support is getting 3 strength plus. Let's... Um, so he has the Marigold's Hailstorm, but I still like to use the Blue Mountains Commander here on this I'll lane, otherwise we are up to 20. Then he could use stuff like Gerald Igni if he's playing right. that. So there's a decoy. We could get the Elf Mercenary back into the hand. But we still have our Elf Mercenary and the Blue Mountain Commando. And I really like the Vanguard here getting the extra points back. And also we're spawning a Commando near feet again. Now we're getting the decoy. And he was snatching the Fireball Trap, so there will be another one. And because of that, we will Death spawn a Blue Mountain all. Commando. Have strength, my and love. getting the Elf Mercenary again. Rally effect on that. Spawning another Blue Mountain Commander. This time we're going 
Ah, uh, still. Do the melee roll. And another Muta gain or spores. What do we have on board? Uh, we are still buffing. Still buffing here. Let's take. Well, let's take the Vanguard. That would be push us up to 20, so we could kill that. Not that great of a deal. Maybe the command on your feet is better. I mean, if he's spawning the weather, we still have a clear skies here. That's not a problem. Giving us a Yevon. So that means he is not able to push out any sort of weather right now. Otherwise, he would have saved the card until everything is going down to one strength point and then play the Yevon, clearing the whole lane. That would have been better. So maybe we are going for the Francesca. My folk have suffered much. Let's drop the Hailstrom here. We're getting the King of Beggars, which is decent. How many cards? Oh, we can't see the amount of cards we have left, which is a shame. Probably dropping this one. We're getting the Siri Dash, which is nice. And I really like to keep the first light here. I'm a bit afraid that we don't have... We can't see the graveyard, which is always a pain here. I mean, I really would love to see either the graveyard or the amount of cards that are left in the deck. So for now, we will keep the first light here in the Elven Mercenary. Well, let's see what else is there. We have played one first light, so there will be another one left in the deck. Kill the command on your feet with the Lazar Raid. Okay. Uh, Siri Dash, we have eight cards left, so quite a lot still left in the deck. We can go for the Siri Dash here. I mean, we have won the first round, so he is in trouble, not we. Focus support is going up to 15 points. That's a lot. We still can spawn Aromancy, of course. So we could just debuff that if we need to. So the Roach is in the graveyard now. That means if we use the King of Beggars at the moment. Do we have another Elf Mercenary here in the graveyard? Yes, so right now we would spawn would spawn the Yevon. If I'm not mistaken, or do we have a Vanguard left? Yeah, we have one left, so we would spawn that. Let's play that. Nobody escapes. Got it? There you go, and we're dropping that here on the bottom. So if we want to go for the Aromancy weather effect, I want to use that here on the range row. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the Now oh, there's a fireball trap. And the Hawker support is going up to 18. Uh, we currently... Oh, we're just passing now. We are far ahead. He might spawn the Marigold's Hailstorm. And then we would have currently... That will be 7, 16, 20, 24, 28. So we we should still be ahead. Also, he's getting a few points extra from the traps here. Let's find out. Oh, there's a tower wheel. It's buffing up to 32 points. There's a Marigold's Hailstorm. That is now good enough. And he's winning that round. But we're even in cards and we definitely have some nice stuff here left in the deck and at hand. So that was a fireball trap, the last one. Then we're getting the Yevon here, which will draw us another card. We have six cards to go. The ready card is getting is its own mercenary. Let's enjoy the weather while and we decoy is getting that back into the hand. Uh, so that's a bit, bit of a problem. Not much to do at the moment. We go for the first light. Yeah, let's spawn another card. Your tricks before playing anything else. With the gold cards, we're getting the right. roach back here. So there's another elf mercenary, blue mount I'll commando, elf mercenary the again. Getting another special card. The Demiritium shackles. That is not doing anything at the moment. Uh, I guess we're going for the extra card draw. It's always just getting that back. Ooh, the Marigold Hailstorm. 
Everything not doing right. much because he's playing anything, everything here in the middle lane. So we would decrease our own points, which is not great. With the glaze, we could create could create the mare drum here. That might be useful. Otherwise, if we take the first light, we don't have another bronze unit left in the deck, so that is not useful. Yeah, though there's not much left to play. We need to play that here. We will take the um Uta gain here. So we could also debuff one of his units. That's not that bad. So it's 21 to 17 points. Spale! Yeah, but he's winning that. For sure. Enough of this farce. Vedrai Elrei! Oh, he should win that because the Miracle Hailstorm is unfortunately no negotiation. not a winner card. So he's getting that back. He can play that. We're now even in points. Also, he did not have another special card in the deck. Otherwise, that would be the victory for him. Ooh, so very close. And we are drawing here. We're not playing the Miracle Hailstorm, of course. So that would be a draw. And ending the game in a draw.